a quarter of those have gone <laughs> before we even mentioned it. So you'd been checking. Now 40%'s gone. So we're not even going to talk about the one-day special until we've just talked about this. If you've got the big magnetic glass mat, you'll know, OK? If you haven't, what I discovered this morning is this is just as useful. Absolutely. So if you want to do smaller cards, you can absolutely do that. I use it mainly for my mess. So I put it on top of my big one. I have all my mess on here. And then I just set it aside with all the mucky ink on. And mm. then I can bring it back in and reactivate it. I haven't got to wash it down or clean mm. it. However, it serves the same purpose as your large one. It comes with two magnets. I've only got one here, but it comes with two. It has the crosshair as well. So if you want to do your four primary colours and mix, you can absolutely do that too. It holds your stencils in place if you want to do that stenciling element as well. And also if you leave the magnet on top and you've got a bunch of dies and you want to keep all the dies together while you're making something, the dies will stick to the magnetisation. We were going to wait until Tony got to the demo and show you, but you were buying it that quickly that it's three quarters gone in the time she's had to explain it. So I'm going to put that to one side. Now you know we've got it. You know you can get it. It's going to be a sold out in just a couple. Oh, it's limited stock now. Oh, this is ridiculous. We put quite a, a large amount of these on. OK, well done if you've got it. Remember, with the free postage over our birthday, you can check it out straight away. You don't have to think, oh, well, I'll wait and see what the one day special is uh, or a happy hour because I can save on my postage. Doesn't yeah, matter. Do it's it. irrelevant. If you check want. out, make sure you've secured it. And then, in fact, now there's everybody's got it in their baskets. If you don't check out, you won't get it. So there you go. Please check out straight away. And then you can open up another basket for the happy hour that we're about to show you as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we have just a note die set for this one. So this is that lovely torn edge, which gives you that realism with those papers as if it has been pulled out of a gridded um, paper um, pad. It's got the torn edge. It's got three different sizes, one of which can be used as a ticket, one can be used as a mount, and one can be used as a focal on a card. And then just at the base here, we have just a note die and coordinating outline. This is amazing. This is a 17.99 die, and it's one of those core dies. It's not like specific to anything, so it's going to work across the board with all of the products that you have. And if you actually do it on gridded paper, it looks like it's been torn out. Eight pound ninety nine. Guess what? A third of it in baskets. So you know what to do. Open up another basket, get it in, and check it out. Now I know that I was going on about the uh, the mini Eureka. Well, we couldn't get any more of the mini Eureka. So if you were waiting for that, I apologise. We do, of course, have the Eureka, the full size. Eureka that's at an amazing price on the show and we'll talk about that a little bit later on because we're actually here <laughs> to talk about the one day special but we will also be talking about the magazine we've got more of the magazine for you yeah I've got some more for you we've held Tony down and tickled her in the off hours and managed to get more <laughs> stock for you uh, of the magazine but I'll talk about that once we've explained the one day specials or the show will be over and yeah, we won't have done show, what we're meant to be doing let's show the beautiful one day so these were launched last night and for the first time as in I can remember we got enough stock we yeah. doubled everything to make yeah. sure we kept Tony in the building till at least three o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Over half the stock of each of them have gone. Uh, we've had so many emails praising this system that just stay tuned if you've never seen this before. We'll get into all about the history and everything in a little while once we've shown you what you're getting. So this is the first one day special and it's a beautiful concept of four layering stencils that give you a 3D frame. It comes with the complementing outline interior and exterior die. The ex Exterior die allows you to make the beautiful shaped card, so if you like to do something a little bit different for a change, you can do that. And then we get the complementing ladies, where we have the front and the back, which is beautiful because you're going to be able to create perspective on your card, so she can be looking in a mirror. We've all got mirror stamps and frames and dies, so she can be walking away from the frontal of the gown. You can just have her, and it just tells a beautiful story. So here the frame is, with those four stencils, just flat, okay, just so you can do it flat. Don't have to use those dies. Here is the lovely lady here. So this is Sadie. She's got a beautiful bow. She's got that lovely um, gown effect on there. And then when you use it with the dies, you get this beautiful sort of system where it still fits in a five by seven envelope as well. So you just have something that looks a little bit more easier on the eye because it has so soft edges. And then that's the full concept. Now that gown the dies and the stencils all come in one packet. Traditionally, you would see the stencils in one pack, mm. the dies in one pack, and the stamps in one pack, but I'm just trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. Mm. Um, so less plastic with your stencils and less packets as well, but you do get so much value within these packets. And as always, QR code on the back, 1,300 videos of inspiration of all of the products we bring to you here at Create and Craft. And that is on our own How to Craft Network YouTube channel. But moving down, 
so it's not a choice of you get these as well down here so these are your wonderful bows which give such a realism with um, bows that are just made with paper you get those twining legs you get the extending legs so you can really create the most delightful bow system that if you just change the color you build them up in different ways you get these sorts of looks here and all I've done here is I've glued them. You can see the extending legs in here as well. So you can literally build, be creative. And these are going to show an appearance on Christmas as well. So if you're, uh, we all love Stamps By Me Christmas. I know you all wait for it. Um, so these are going to show an appearance on there as well. So just a beautiful system. And every collection I've brought to you today, there are three, um, all work incredibly well. Now we had an email this morning from a lady called Lynn who said for the love of God please give me the name uh, the details of the, uh, the, ma the magnetic mini mat she's just emailed in to say she got it so well Boom. done well you. done sweetheart. well done get in there yes. um, now the one day special uh, that oh, no not the one day special the happy hour there's so much going on uh, that's technically gone everybody's got it in their baskets so if you've got that well done wait till we get to the magazine but that's your first one day special we've got a second one day special for you as well which is very similar but different it's yes yeah, so you get the same concept you get the wonderful ladies Where are we? <laughs> just here you get the wonderful ladies with the four stencils the dies and the front and the rear of the gown um, same way to build them follow the number system on there and this is more foliage based so this would be beautiful for Christmas if you wanted it to be you can think about adding those berries and those buds but equally you can add your own flowers on there I saw that Phil Martin this morning had some incredible flowers and mm. foliage on his show you could build those in as well you get the front and the back of the gown and then you also get the coordinating dies to build that beautiful shape card in there absolutely beautiful but then as we did with the bows for the other collection in this collection we have the wonderful words now you all loved these on the preview and I knew these would fly so we have um, the stamps so you get all of the stamps and the ball tom but the beauty of this set is you get the dies as well and the dies cut out the word itself and then the mat and layer and these are really really classic in design they have a beautiful eclectic mix of fonts that work so well together and you'll see from all of the samples and you can see on the packet down here if you look at the front of the packet we have the bow on there you have one of the frames look at that and then you have the wonderful words on the front of that packet it just shows you that the collection works seamlessly um, together so if you do like your white on white and your traditional but if you do like to vintage it up you can totally do that by just swapping the white card out for a craft colour, which is just on the base there. And it just gives it a whole new look. That one's perfect. That's in. It. it says wonderful on each side. Um, it's just an, a, a, just a beautiful, beautiful mm. set. Now, I, I forgot to give you the item number of the price of the last one, but I will do this one. It's 509334. And that's the uh, uh, Alice and Saying Hello stamp uh, with the... Uh, 49 pieces in there for 58.48. Fantastic value for money. Let's give you the previous details just so Tony can get ready to demo and I can remind you of the number, which I wasn't doing my job properly. It got a bit giddy. Uh, so 817570 is the item number uh, and that's your other uh, one day special. Now, um, we've also got a weekender to show you as well. We're not finished yet. Yes, we've got a very special birthday weekender from Stamps By Me and it's this baby here. So very same concept again. So with this one is Francesca. Again, four stencils, dies and stamps. And this one is beautiful. And this is what's left from our weekender. We just bolted it on. What's left is what's left. So you get the beautiful frame. I, sh I showed you this one on a demonstration earlier. Here, look at this one with the flowers. Then we get the front and the rear of Francesca there. But built in with those incredible dies, you can create the most beautiful cards. These are the bows from the Sadie from the One Day Special, which is in the show. And then we have Wow Blooms, which I demonstrated in the last show. So please go back and watch other shows because the technique based ones are really cool. So you stamp this one all at once then you lay the heart up the heart fit beautifully on top of each other don't worry about lining up just follow the heart system one on top of the other on top of the other and you'll end up with this finished project and then in the same packet you get a plate which sits on top and cuts them in one pass and then you can build your own lovely wreaths garlands um, box lids and things like that and then look at these beautiful words so 
this is just what's left from so the that's weekend. seven nine oh two eight seven fifty seven fifty eight for the framed with love weekend oh crikey i've forgotten to tell you about the goodie bag as well so much yeah the goodie bag there is so much we haven't finished yet there's an amazing goodie bag on the show now this is a die a stencil and a stamp okay they uh, are you know contents may vary but um, you will always get something that works together. That's what Tony promised. You'll always get something that works together. So that's been incredibly busy because basically the die in each set is worth eighteen ninety nine, and you're getting the entire set of die, um, stamp, and stencil for seventeen ninety seven. That is quite amazing. It really, really is. Eight two four two three zero. So there's another one to pop in your basket, and we've still got one more absolute killer deal to tell you about and that's the magazine we just held this up this morning and it was sold out so we've managed to get some more for you tell us about them well it's more than a magazine isn't it really it is and this what you have is what i have left and when i did the launch of this actual box kit it sold through and i contacted practical publishing and said please could have some more they said of course you can have ours so this is what's left of that there is no more and box kit two is coming soon so if you are collecting them great opportunity here and awesome. for this price so basically it's a box kit it comes in this box you may have seen several brands doing these i know john's got one coming up soon i've been told so basically it's a kit that works okay it comes in this fabulous box you get the magazine with so much content i'll not tell, show you too much because i want it to be no, a little I bit of a surprise but i'll just do a quick giveaway. flick so there's giveaways there are beautiful papers inside here and this is a hybrid of summer and christmas so you're going to be able to create paper projects tags toppers so they're the pretty papers but as i go to Towards the front you're going to get inspiration from all of my design team in here you're going to get inspiration from practical publishing's design team as well so you ho we hold your hand every step of the way it really really is a monster of a booklet to really help and you can see some of the products there from us as well so, so remember get the magazine. because it's a privately produced magazine it's not stuffed with adverts for things like corn plasters or nope. you know tractor tires or anything like that's that is so it that's so true so yeah. that's the magazine now in my opinion that is worth its money on its own because the time it takes to do those step by steps for you all but guess what you don't just get that you get these as well so let's show you you get this a4 a and i say a4 stamp set in this box okay say so you a4 a4 i oh, know no. so you get a tree if you want to that doesn't have to be a christmas tree although it can be if you want it to be it has borders we have a late another lady you can tell i like ladies can you we have balloons sparkle stars snowflakes so that's a4 you also get this wonderful um, embossing folder, which creates a window, which is perfect for the lady to walk through, look through, the birds to sit on front of, and then you get the words, okay? Absolutely. For £8.99, you get the lot. £8.99. Let me just show you these bunch of samples that I brought with me because this is sort of our backup show to help us out here. So look at these. So you really, really can utilize all of the papers all of the dies, stamps and color with those florals if you want to. There's that embossed window with that lovely word love there. Here's a Christmas one, for example, just cut out of those pretty papers. And then here is a wonderful easel card, handmade with love. I'll just show that to the front. £8.99. I know. So it's an absolute steal when the gone, the gone box kit number two comes in. A and remember, of you can dip in and buy any of these items at any time because with free postage, you haven't got to worry about building a basket. You can have five, six orders in one show and you still won't pay a penny postage because of our very special birthday tree. Over 80% of that's now gone. Another sellout. Now, the theme for me over the birthday is trying to talk about things that we didn't have in craft and in the world in general, actually, uh, in 2003. Uh, we didn't have our mobile phones. Well, we had mobile phones, but we certainly didn't have our iPhones or our big smartphones. Uh, that's, a, that's a one example. We didn't have Tony Derrick. We didn't really have clear stamps. Uh, dies were only just really coming to the fore and they were mostly spellbinders dies. The die revolution hadn't started. And in the show this morning, I was asking you to email in and let us know what Stamps By Me product uh, was your absolute favourite? What was the catalyst? What made you buy your first Stamps By Me product? And we were inundated with emails. I'd like you to email again this hour if you haven't emailed in already. Just if you want to wish us happy birthday or say hello to Tony or let us know which Stamps By Me product has really brought your craft to another level. 
I do have emails to read out from this morning, which I promise, and I'm going to do that in uh, opportune points during the demo. But I do need to tell you, the magazine, guess what, sold out. Uh, it's in people's Pop it baskets. In there. Thank you. It's in people's baskets, but if um, if it's in your basket and you check it out, you'll get it. If you don't, you could miss out. Right, so we need to get plenty of demoing, so we're going to intersperse that with uh, some emails, but we'd like to hear from you this hour as well. Why did a stamp spy me? Was it the Eureka? Was it the Quattro D system? Uh, you know, any of these things that Tony is uh, internationally acclaimed for now, was it any of those that really changed your crafting? We'd love to hear. Thank you so much. So I think if you just want to read on and I will do demo at the same time. Well, is we'll that, do, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That'd be good. I just don't want people to think, oh, he's boring us reading no, emails. I, don't I want get to watch the demos. And it's birthday and it's an extra <laughs> special time. So whilst Martin's going to read all of our lovely emails, because there's a ton, and I'd like, if you can get through them all, that'd be amazing. I just want to talk about these wonderful eye zincs. I haven't really had the opportunity to showcase them. As you can see, they're all over my desk here. But these are my own colours of the eye zinc range. Okay, so you get a set of vintage and you get a sorry set of vintage and a set of brights now these are pigment inks that are incredible to work with and great affordability okay so they are just over a one and a half inch cube and i'm just going to show you a couple of the reasons why i like these so much and why they're going to be a great buy if all you have in your stash is a dye based ink because i do my own dye but i haven't never done a pigment and i will never do a pigment simply because these are brilliant there's no point competing right so let me just show you how wonderful they are on black so I'm just going to do so a couple of sm couple of smudges onto some black card here. Now, if you're thinking, I love the stencils, Tony. Um, uh, how am I going to get them to work on black? Well, this is your answer right here. So I'm just going to push you through a few through here. Okay. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are actually, considering and that's they on have, black. Yeah, and they have a lovely creamy consistency, which stay wet for longer. Okay, which means you can now use all of your embossing powders so for all of you that maybe have only a clear embossing ink pad at home guess what you now have 18 different colored embossing powders because all you need to do is stamp it out in this throw the clear on top and you get the most delightful creamy consistent um, ink pad like effect here now yesterday I just threw a little bit of embossing powder on here just to show you how well they hold the embossing powders so this is like a salt and pepper technique where you just drop it on random because they stay wet for so long you can absolutely do all of the techniques they blend beautifully and they look awesome on white card as well so here's just another one there for you Fantastic. so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bit of stenciling Right, okay, they're really, really busy, the eye zincs. They're a great price as well. Everything free P&P, remember. Right, emails from this morning. Sue in Sunderland, if, you, if you're watching Sue in Sunderland, I'm not going to read out your full email because I'd have to explain everything about this morning. But what she does say is, happy birthday, uh, fab start to the celebrations. Uh, if I just say she's put up the curmudgeons, that won't mean anything to anybody, but it'll mean <laughs> something to Sue and I. Uh, so thank you for your email. Uh, now, the next one is from Nina. Now, um, we have had... Uh, an effect on a lot of people's lives and Nina's email rings true to an experience I've had over the last 18 months she said um, this one uh, this one day special is perfect I have the original Eureka and the mini one all right don't rub it in uh, I would be lost without them I had cancer a few years ago and was off work for nearly two years and had to find some sort of distraction and Tony with your simple and beautiful products have helped me through crafting was my go-to uh, to forget what I was going through well as no many of you you know my wife went through uh, a year and a bit of cancer treatment last year and I know you know please please to know that she's fine now as well as you can be while they keep scanning you on a regular basis but so Nina we understand I've met a lot of viewers in the past who've been suffering with um, cancer and other things uh, and they found that Crate and Craft has been a real uh, place yeah. where they can switch off you know uh, so that's great to know that we can do that for you um, right I'll do one more okay and then you can do a bit of uh, demoing uh, this one is from Charlotte. Now, over the years, we get to know viewers very, very well. Yep, absolutely. And I might talk about something and somebody will email in. For example, I might say, one of my frustrations is life is why do people stop at big roundabouts when there's absolutely nothing coming? Why do they actually come to a physical stop when there's nothing coming? And then I'll get emails from people saying, completely agree with you, Martin. Okay. Or I might say, there's only 78 days till the night start drawing in. 
And I might get people, I don't know if that's the right amount, I haven't counted it in my head. And I'll get a lot of emails saying, you miserable so-and-so. But I'll get more emails saying, We're, I'm with you, Martin, can't yep. stand those light nights. I much prefer it when it gets dark early. Well, Charlotte is an example of somebody who shared her, um, I think one day I was talking about um, things that you give you the, the, the willies, you know, things that you are a bit sort of EBGBs. like nails on blackboards EBGBs. and things like that. We had a floor manager called Scott in Crate and Craft once who couldn't be around uh, multiples of buttons. If you had a, a buttons in it, he wouldn't even set it out on the set. If you put loads of buttons in a tray in a show, it made him go all, you Funny. know, yeah. So Charlotte has one of these uh, sort of um, uh, aversions to stuff, and it's wind farms. Oh. She cannot be go anywhere near wind turbines. She calls them big turny things. And it gives her the heebie-jeebies. And that's the Charlotte that's emailed in. She said, Stamps by Me products are incredible, but it's not just this which makes the company. Tony is also so down-to-earth, kind, and believes in everyone who uses her products. You should see her off air. She makes you feel anything is possible. I'm super excited and waiting impatiently for the sentiment stamp and die set to arrive, oh. which I managed to order yesterday. Uh, tense moment as I knew it would sell out. Uh, I, can, can, I can use the fabulous Eureka knowing I will stamp perfectly and it will look professional. Then she gets a bit about me being her favorite presenter, which I always get embarrassed reading out. <laughs> um, but thank you so much thank for the you. very kind remarks. She said, my husband found Crank Craft six years ago I've enjoyed watching and I'm learning over the years but it's his fault I have no spare pennies and that's from Charlotte aka Big Turny Things in North Aww, Somerset thank you Charlotte brilliant really thank you kind. Charlotte great to know you're out there and thanks for being with us for part of your birthday and you've also got to thank the husbands for putting yeah, up with it I know you know it's nice isn't it I, I feel really just really grateful this week at just these last two days like you know to open birthday is wonderful mm. thank you so much Crate and Craft for mm. asking me by the way mm. and then today as well it's just been fantastic and you know everybody's so excited about where where Crate and Craft's going it's just wonderful isn't 20 it? years extraordinary and there will be 25 and there will yeah, be 30 I'll still and be here. you'll still be here yeah Wheel him out. I might have a have the nature break in the middle of a wheel menu, him out, though, wheel him out. <laughs> so I'm going to do Alice. So Alice is the one with the beautiful words. Okay, now it's absolutely just it's just so delicious. So you get the lovely dies, the stamps on the back here. You have the layering system here, and I'm going to show you in a second. But the QR code is on that back. Always remember. Now in the past, we've always said to you, scan the QR code. You get all of the inspiration on the How to Craft Network. I'm live every Monday at eight o'clock on my YouTube channel. But look here. Now we have something else now for you. Can you see this code here? So if you do not have a smart device, or you're worried about using a smart device, because I know a lot of people. Mm don't want to be scanning things, don't want to interfere with their everyday technology and things like that, pop this code into our website, boom, there off you go. you go again. Fair enough. So just simplified it a little bit. That's so good. Um, you can use both, by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stencil system and I'm going to do it with our lovely eye inks on black and show you how you get a totally different look. Now to use the stencils, it is pretty straightforward, but for those of you that may not know our system, they are numbered one to four. So follow the numbers one, two, three, and four. There are hearts in the corner if you want to pop some ink through and line it up. But what I do is I just edge it off to the side of my card and I'm literally good to go. If you have your mini and you want to use your little mini or your big one, you can absolutely pop it on here, hold it in place with your magnets. You do get two and you can hold it in place. Obviously, any system is going to help you, but it, you still don't stop using your hands when you're stenciling, okay? You will still have to use your hands whatever system you are using. So let's just pop this in here like so. I'm going to edge it off to the side here and I'm just going to take the ink pads. Look, these are the ones that I've chosen, quite random. And I'm just gonna, rather than use a brush, cause they're like an oily, smooth, silky sort of texture, I'm just gonna go straight on. Right, so while well, we're watching you do that, okay. then let's hear from another Sue who said, hi Martin and Tony, I love watching Crate and Craft. Very inspiring guests and a lot of fun. I've been watching Aww. for about 15 years. Wow. Uh, so I've been addicted for a long time. She's another one that we've helped when she was in hospital on a ventilator with pneumonia three years ago. Your channel kept me going and got me through it. I, I, she, she says, I thought it would never be the same when the merger happened 18, what, 14 months ago. Um, however, 
It's lots of fun with great guests and presenters together from the joined merger. She really enjoys it. And I couldn't agree more. I we're still working with people that we were friends with. Absolutely. And there has been some hiccups. And, you know, yeah. we have our highs and lows. But yeah. do you know what? Um, it's going to work itself out, guys. It really is. Yeah. So number two, so you can see there, look at that. Just straight through. That's black card, remember, ladies and gents, black card. So number two, and I'm not going to bother waiting till it dries. I'm going to look for my number here, which is just here. I'm just going to pop it off to the corner there. Line it up with the edge of my card and then hold it in place with that one. Then we'll go this green. Um, and then I'm just going to push through with this one next. Uh, so we had an email this morning from David in Tewkesbury who said, Eureka has been a great boost to my confidence in crafting and has almost eliminated the need for the waste paper bin. It, it changed, I don't know if I can, to I can. Oh, uh, enjoyment brilliant. level soared with crafting. Thank you, everyone. Another one that we've helped over the years. Um, this is from Sarah in Northampton, not that far away. Uh, she said, I discovered Crate and Craft after having a stroke in 2008. 11. Wow. I was 37 years old. Uh, wow. I've had Crate and Craft on ever since. I like to do many crafts and Tony is so inspiring. I love her fresh, classy, beautiful designs. She's a real trailblazer with others following suit on her unique and clever products. Oh, Thanks for keeping great. me company. Oh, Again, so kind. another fantastic compliment. Thank you so much, Sarah. And it's this time, you know, when we have our birthdays that we like to reminisce and talk about the last, well, in this case, 20 years. But we get these amazing amazing emails from people and you go home at night and you think it, it, it's more than shopping TV yeah it is it's a community it is right I know we're here to sell you things although there was one lady who emailed in once and said I love your programs but can you please stop the tell the presenters to stop trying to sell me stuff oh she did okay uh, it is a shopping channel we are here we're here thanks to you because if you don't buy stuff we wouldn't be here um but we try and make it as interesting and entertaining as we possibly can and yeah. i think we've succeeded over the years absolutely it's so cool and that gentleman about the um eureka what's wonderful about the eureka is it's not just one dimensional there are many tools that um offer lots of capability but you'll have often more not than fine that most people just use it for the one thing because that's all really it's good for whereas with the eureka i find so many people utilizing it for so many different things beaders use it to pop the beads in it's mm. now used as a stencil station it's a stamping aid that helps you with clear stamps rubber stamps and you can even stamp onto mdf it's a scoreboard i'm not asking you to go out and buy tools the tools are incorporated with it you have mm. your score tool you have your brush it comes in a wonderful clutch bag as well so you've got it all housed and at that price that is the best price mm. i think it's maybe been oh. 50p cheaper in the past completely agree completely agree uh, there it is the eureka um you know, something we didn't have in 2003, stamping platforms. Tony's stamping platform uh, means that you won't have to have a buy another scoreboard. You won't need a palette for your inks. You know, it does everything. It's such a clever idea because it's not just a stamping platform. They call it a watercolour tablet because, of course, you can use it for painting as well. And there are other things coming for it as well. Yeah, there's new boards to go inside. We have some other um, elements that are going to be built into the, to it as well. Uh, there's something else happening as well, which I'll tell you all about as soon as I'm, a, as soon as I'm allowed. So look here, look at this. This is three colours. Wow. Oh, Isn't yeah, that yeah. not just beautiful? Mm. It looks like a halo. Mm. So I'm going to keep going. So now I'm on to number four. I'm just going to line it up in the corner here. While you're, while you're inking, I'm going to read okay. another Sue's email. I cannot, I've got no chance of pronouncing her surname. I'll spell it. Okay. N I E S C I E R O W I C Z. Oh, start again. I'm <laughs> not joking. a clue. I'm so I'm so sorry. I will not even going to try it because I'll make a mess of it. Um, she says, uh, I just love you two together. You have such a laugh and make crafting so enjoyable. I love stamps by me. They have made me a better stamper with the Eureka. Aww. Before I had this, I wouldn't stamp as I always miss bits. Uh, I love the laminates and the Quattro D is so enjoyable and easy to use. They are a project in a single package. They certainly are. Sue, thank you so much oh, for the lovely you, comments. Um, right, more when we've had a look at this reveal. Yeah. Keep them coming in the emails, folks. This is all about you, the birthday. It's all about celebrating our 20 years with you guys. Oh, that's clever. Look at that. Lean it forward a little bit. Look at that. You can see that. That just looks like a piece of artwork. And here's one I did earlier that's a little bit dry. 
so you can see wow, when it dries it, it doesn't lose its pigment in there. pigmentation or anything it's so so cool so if you're looking for a different look these pigments are amazing now i could throw a ton of clear embossing powder over that now and make it absolutely shiny you can do the salt and pepper technique where you just sprinkle some embossing powder on and you get these sorts of effects here where you add the sparkle and things like that they work so well on white which is a given they are a colored ink pad but the versatility of these being able to blend and being able to do your heat embossing as well is absolutely stunning so i just wanted to showcase those because i had i'm running out of time but we launched these they absolutely flew out works out one pound 39 an ink pad that does That's, if you're a beginner crafter as well mm. you've totally got you covered with your color range mm. on there mm. so that is um just a sneak sort of peek there at how that works so shall we do a demo yeah, let's do one. While you get ready, here's another a lady that we've, if you like, helped. Uh, I must laugh now, her name's Yvonne. I remember one year saying, now that's an unusual name. You don't hear that name very often these days. My, um, my, I had an aunt called Yvonne. My mum was called Yvonne. I was showered with Yvonne emails. <laughs> and no, it's not. I'm called Yvonne. Uh, and I think I said it's, it's, it's really a generational name, Yvonne. Your mum's called Yvonne. My mum was called Yvonne. My aunt was called Yvonne. I don't... I know whether there's any, I'd be very interested to know if anybody's called a child in the last 10 years, Yvonne. They're all coming back though. Yes, I suppose they are. They're all they? coming back. We, uh, my neighbours actually got two boys, Henry and Arthur, so oh, those wow. names are coming back. I'm, you can see I don't have children, I'm disconnected from all of that, so apologise if you've got five Yvonnes in your got family. have got about 500 kids here though. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, true. Um, Oh, well, they've just checked. They've been able to... How cool is that? We couldn't do that in 2003. No. They've just checked. And in the UK, there were 11 recorded births of children who were named Yvonne last year. Just 11 out of all the children born in the UK. That's... Wow, I didn't know... Wow, we didn't know that in 2003, did we? Right. We did not. Uh, very quickly, before you start then, Yvonne says, I stumbled across Crate and Craft about seven years ago during a particularly bad bout of anxiety and depression. Listening to you all made me feel as though I had friends. Uh, when outside of this bubble, I had no one. I, oh. Once I started to feel able to venture outside, I started to go craft, to crafting live, dragging my daughter and granddaughter along with me. COVID then hit, and the pressure of continued to work in a full-time caring environment with further bouts of anxiety and depression caused so many issues. Without my friends at Crate and Craft, I'm filling up now, I'm not so sure I would have coped. There are several people that I must thank for their kindness towards me. Dan, Tina, Abs, John, Charlie, Lou Withers, Carly, David, oh, Hannah so and Adam. Nice. Communi communicating with them on, uh, on a regular basis. I'm waiting for my chance to meet you both and hope it won't be too long. And that's Yvonne. I mean, if, I could, if I could say that's Crate and Craft right there. Yeah. Yvonne's email. That's and if we could reach you that's the TV, awesome. we would be giving you a big hug. Oh, Yvonne, thank you so much. Right, let's have a bit of demo. Right, OK, let's get to Francesca. OK, so I'm just showing you Francesca, but all of the demos that I do show you work across the board. So if you like one of the other ladies in one of the other collections, what I'm showing you with this one will work with that one, OK? So all I did was, I'm sort of like picking all the pieces that I've made up over the course of two days. So I cut two pieces uh, from the outline die from Francesca and I scored this one just across here and I'm going to make a pretty shaped card. So I'm just going to add some glue on the top part here, hopefully. They just me. told me in my ear that last year there was a recorded four Martins with a Y born. Just four. All right. That's four people who are going to grow up with everybody spelling their name wrong. What about Tony's? <laughs> with an I. With an I. Gills. Although I must admit, e nearly every single one of our viewers spells my name with a Y. There was 12 Tonys last year. Gills? Oh. Yeah. So here we go. Look, here is a shaped card. Super easy. Just do two, score it, and then glue it at the top, at the back, and you have a wonderful shaped card. Simple, simple. Okay. So this is the one that we did earlier. Can you remember when I did this one with um, the frame? Look, on the last stencil, I swapped it out for some glitter paste. So this is the one from Francesca. So this is the one we did on the weekend. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on there. But the bit that fell out of the middle... I took one of my wonderful um, embossing folders from Carly, which is this one here, and I popped the waist into the embossing folder. And can you see I have the 3D on the waist there? Can you see that there? Perfect. Thank you so much. So this is the bit that fell out of the middle 
and I'm just going to place this back in to the card. Super, super cool. So even the waste that drops out, you can actually be quite creative with it. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to pop this down, but I don't want it to be flat. It would be ideal if I popped it on pads, but I don't have my pads. So I'm just going to pop this flat, but I am going to curl it up at the edges just to give it a little bit of a rise and fall. Now there are elements in here, die cut elements that pop out. As you can see, I haven't popped them all out, but they do pop out. There we go. There's another one. So pop out all of the bits because that's what makes the de design look even more beautiful. And then all I'm going to do, sorry, pull it down for you. There we go. I'm just going to pop it on here. Look. and then get, give it a second to grab and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of lift some of the um, floral bits there just to give a little bit of dimension a little bit of height on my card nothing too fancy chasing it around the table so you can see now we have a wonderful sparkly frame on a shaped card so the center part that I embossed with Carly's embossing folder there you can see there can pop back in and sit it back in the recess can we see there so now we've got a black exterior card and then a white center which I think looks quite cool so I'm just going to take the um, center here and I'm just going to pop this back inside again don't be too precious about if you can't get it all stuck down I'm just going to take my poke tool here and push it underneath so all of the bits go underneath but I still get that lovely raised part there. So Keep those emails coming in, I've still got three or four to read from today uh, from this show but we'd still love to hear from you uh, studio at crankandcraft.com whatever you'd like to share with us it's all about selling the, celebrating the birthday with you guys okay um, because I will say it till I'm blue in the face I don't know what the other presenters say but uh, if you weren't there we wouldn't be here I wouldn't be here I and wouldn't I wouldn't have, have my family business without it so exactly yeah you Thank know you. 20 years Sarah and I uh, I've been married 29 years this September 20 years of my marriage I've been well longer than that actually nearly um, uh, 20, 95 I started working in shopping TV but um, Crate and Craft let's just talk about that time 20 years of that time thanks to you guys you know um, we, we you know I don't know what we'd done and what I don't what would I, I don't know what I'd have done I came out of the Air Force um, I, I can't imagine what possible job I've, I've done this for a third of my life it shows <laughs> our floor manager was t thanks <laughs> the haggardness uh, our floor manager was two when we started crate and craft oh two, four three sorry three years <gasps> old when we started crate and craft my gosh anyway our producer was 10 chris wow so how old were you what when you started how old are you now you are kidding me. He was 24 when he started. He looks about 12 now. It's like Benjamin That's Button. That's amazing. He's going in reverse. Wow. Right, so here I have the words from that lovely collection. So as you can see, they all work seamlessly together. So saying hello, I'll just raise that up there for you and just show you it on some black card so you can see. It's a really lovely font. It's really classic. It's beautiful. And then you get your matte and layer, but I like my matte and layers to be on white. But of course, you can absolutely um, put some mirror board, sparkly card behind, whatever suits you. Now, this card is actually, at the moment, it's standing proud um, portrait. And we've done all of our cards portraits. So I'm going to do my card landscape today. We'll swap it up a little bit. And then we'll just pop this onto its matte and layer here. So I haven't used a gown on this one. I've used gowns in probably all of my other demos, but I'm skipping the gown on this one to show you that you can absolutely change it up. So there's our lovely sentiment look at that. Now it would just look beautiful in the middle and absolutely done. But then we have the incredible realistic bow system, which has those adorning frog's legs, as I would call them, which hang, <laughs> hang from that incredible bow, giving you the most beautiful bow that looks like um, legs on a real bow so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a think about let's bring in some black and think about what we're going to do black or white and again because we have the different textures and build up so this one's got um, oh, some holes in there you could pop this one on here 
give it a pinch in the center on like so and then we could maybe pop some more legs inside and you can put several legs inside to really build up the dimension on these bows um, put two behind if you wanted to to get that flowiness that looks like a real bow to me so I'm going to go ahead and do that one I'm skipping the matte and layer elements and I'm just going to go straight in with this lovely system here. Uh, so. Some of these emails are absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. We're trying to get all of them in before the end of the hour. Um, believe it or not, I, I see names on emails and I recognise them after all this time as well. And I also quite often think about people who I haven't heard from for a while. You know, you suddenly think, oh, here's an example. Yeah. Mary in Scotland, who shares the same birthday as me. I haven't heard from Mary for ages. Right. And you just wonder, I hope you're all right. It literally has become that sort of, you know, checking up on each other um, situation. That's what I'm like on my Monday Night Lives, you know, if somebody's missing who's always there, yeah. we'll say, oh, it's such and such, and then somebody else will say, oh, don't worry, it's a birthday, she's not in today, yeah, or, yeah. you know, or she's, she's in hospital, she's dislocated a shoulder, and everybody's <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it, yeah that's, that's how it that's is. so it's, true. It's, anyway, here's one from Janet in Otley. She says, I've been shielding in the house for over three years. People say to me, what on earth do you do? She says... I'm a crafter. I only have a third of the dining table to work on, but the Eureka enables me to work efficiently in a small space and the kits from Tony have everything I need in one package. I love Quattro D and stenciling and I'm looking forward to a Quattro D Christmas. Oh yes, absolutely. Will it be the first Quattro D Christmas? Yes. <sighs> and it's different. I've taken a big risk. <laughs> It'll be right, yeah, but if it's you, it'll be brilliant. If it's different and it's you, it's totally different. they will love it at home. Oh, I hope I get to do it. I would love to be able to launch that one. You might be, you don't know, do you? Well, yeah, it's Christmas in June, I guess, isn't it? Or July, early July, I can't remember when it is this year. <coughs> it's um, June, I believe. Uh, Carol with an E on the end says, love these stamps. My favourite stamps by me product is the Eureka. Uh, and it got me back into stamping. I just love anything that Tony does. She is an inspiring lady. Oh, super kind. You're all too kind. We're in this together though, aren't we? If you're in it for the right reason, if you're in it because you love craft, then we're all mm. in it together. So I'm just going to leave that there. I don't think I need anything else. So I've just done a... Um, instead of a portrait we have a beautiful landscape one with that incredible i love my bows and then you've got that sparkle i mean that is quite a clean and simple card you've got the embossed detail in the center that we placed back in i'll just lean it forward so you can just see there how beautiful is that and those sentiments are just so endearing so gorgeous plenty more emails Oops. to read if we don't get around to read them all i'll still name check you so you know that we've seen your email um so many things going on over our birthday this is only the start basically isn't it but um you know what it's it was a shame about well no it was the merger was brilliant it's the best thing that happened to the company it was a shame that we couldn't bring any of like 19 years worth of bloopers with us yeah. though um so the bloopers you're seeing this year most of them are um, pretty regular, pretty new ones, basically. So there won't be any with me on, obviously, but here's one to make you laugh right now. Preferences to put a little bit of that on there and Bob's your uncle. There you go. Okay, so that's how you get two bodies into one body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That tickled your fancy, didn't it, then? How you get two bodies into one body. You heard it here. There you go. I'm it's a tight squeeze, but we did it. <laughs> I'm always saying to, to him, you behave. I know, you went straight in there. I love it. We love a blooper, don't we? We absolutely love a blooper. I've got more emails coming in. Listen, um, it's a really busy hour, and we'd like to thank you for that. But I was saying that, you know, I, I'm, I'm probably the biggest champion of trying not to talk over when the guest's demonstrating or when we've got something to show. But I think today and the birthday is a little bit different because we're, we're celebrating you guys totally. at Totally. We've just had a conversation, haven't we? Let's just keep reading those wonderful emails. The show is going fantastically well. You're all loving the product, which is awesome. Mm. So let's just celebrate the fact that, you know, we have made it to 20 years. Here's to the next 20 mm. years. It only mm. comes round once, doesn't it? So let's celebrate.
it. And, and there's some stories that they obviously we've touched the lives of a lot of people. Here's another one, uh, and this is from Karen, who's in the Highlands of Scotland, and she said she's managed to get the magnetic mini glass mat. Brilliant, uh, Tony. You always bring us such wonderful and innovative products. So thank you. Thank you. Another one who says Crate and Craft's been my lifeline, especially since lockdown. I lost my partner during lockdown, and also oh. had a car accident, which left me hospitalised for three months. Crikey. I live in a very rural area on my own now and I'm housebound most of the time but I always have Crate and Craft on not only for the great craft shows and the products but for the company well you need to join our group you need to really get interact because not only do we um, you know we're all there to see new products and see um, demonstrations and things like that but let me tell you the friendships that we have in our group now go up and down visiting each other up the country they talk to each other on evenings they facetime they have little craft things where they do things together so a couple of areas where you can go so you're not at home on your own eureka fan page is absolutely one i'm live on a monday night at eight o'clock please do not be on your own because i don't do this for any other reason for people to connect and share the love of craft it's one of my biggies so monday Monday night, 8 o'clock, I'm live most days as well. Eureka fan page, come and say hello. Come and just come and just see the wonderful other crafters that are there. You got me, Karen. Let's amazing. try another one. Yeah, you got, um, somebody got me earlier. Yeah, What's yeah, that all about? Uh, this is from Sue, Sue Bingham, who says, The game changer products that I've bought are the amazing stamps by me, lamination stamps, Yay! Quattro D, and the reflection stamps. However, uh, then we have the Eureka <laughs> and the glass mat and the fabulous 3D HD embossing <laughs> folders and the inks. Oh, if I list them all, it'll be the end of the show. Can I tell, can I, can you tell I am a great fan of all things stamps? by me and Tony Derrick. Amazing products, Thank amazing so lady. Much. Thank you so much, Sue. Right, let's do a little Thank bit more you, crafting Sue, and then kind. we'll get some... Just had another great sheaf of emails in. Thank you so much. Right, oh gosh. Right, let's go. Let's do some different colours now. So here I'm just going to do... So here I am with Sadie. So this one's Sadie and this is the one that comes with those fantastic bows which I've just demonstrated on that other card how beautiful these bows are. Now you get both, it's not a choice of for this particular collection. So Sadie, the frames, it has the detail on the back there. You have the QR code and then on this one is exactly the same. We always show you how many pieces you're getting as well so you know what to expect. You get the details on there and again every product I produce has a QR code and that wonderful code. We also have the step by step so people who might not want to do visual um, inspiration i.e live they can absolutely do it step by step you can print the pdfs off karen from my design team takes a picture of every step and talks you through it so just print them off and just enjoy them so much content i don't know another company that gives you content like stamps by me i really really don't so it's there for you so you can use it right, i'm not so sure i'm going to get through this one uh, hi Tony and Martin, I've only just come across Crate and Craft just before Christmas and it's changed my life. I am transgender and have suffered with my mental health for many years and more so recently. I struggle socially and with major depression and anxiety but I found the channel and I was hooked. It has brought about the creative me I lost many years ago. I have picked up my pencils again and now see a future with my art and in crafting. Maybe my own line one day. I love all the presenters and all the guests. Everyone brings their all to the shows and it's a font of inspiration and fun at every turn. Thank you for helping. Don't know, not too close, please. <laughs> thank you for helping in ways you probably would not believe you do, but you do. I love you guys, everyone. Thank you for giving me hope every day. Best wishes, Lee. Wow. Right. Wow. Thank you, Lee. Thank okay. you very, very much again, indeed. Again, show your work. This is what it's all about, sharing the love of craft. Show your work. We love to see people's work. Get involved with the rest of the crafters. You should never be on your own, no matter. Transgender, whatever um, circumstances you find yourself in, never be on your own. Never. That's why I started the company, because I was on my own, and I didn't want to, anybody else to be on their own. So come and join us. Right, stencil number two. You see that little ink there? We had a question from Anne in Blackpool who said, Hi, Martin and Tony. I hope there'll be more Quattro D. Yes, uh, as they make my cards look like I'm clever. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Tony, do you sell ink pads in the small size? We do. They're currently out of stock on the website, though, but they're coming back. We have some more for Christmas as well, so keep your eyes peeled. We also have the wonderful Notify Me button on our website, on my own website, How to Craft Network, and that gauges how much stock I need to order for the live shows here at Create & Craft. So if there's something you like, check out the How to Craft Network, which is my own website. Click that Notify Me button, and then if there's a lot of interest, I'll always reorder um, colours again. Um, this is for my producer. I've got an email here that starts, so pleased to see you back, Martin, but we're missing the name at the bottom. It ends with love and best wishes. If you could tell me who that was from. Sorry, I know you've got a lot to choose through. It starts with, so pleased to see you back, Martin. Amanda, oh. okay. Let's quickly do Amanda's email. Okay, I'm on stencil three, just so you know. Oh, what, sorry? You're on stencil? Yep, stencil okay. three. I love watching Tony as she shares lots of tips and tricks and gets stuck in showing as many demos as she can. Crank Craft is more than a shopping channel. I have learned so many techniques and been introduced to different crafts, all from the comfort of my own home, and I love the humour of the presenters and the guests. Last week I emailed Yanis and Katrina from Rowandine to ask how to do French knots left-handed, and within a few minutes um, Katrina kindly demonstrated for me. Where right. else can you get that service? That is cool. Uh, Martin, my husband has a question for you. Uh, he's mad on aircraft and would like to know what is your favourite aircraft. Ooh, well, good as question. you know, I was in the Air Force for 10 years and I absolutely hate flying. <laughs> um, but if you, I do, yeah. But if you were to ask me my favourite aircraft, it would be from an experience that I had when I was in the Falkland Islands, when I served in the Falkland Islands, and I went island hopping on the, with my back feet hanging out of a Chinook helicopter. Wow. How those things stay in the, in the air, I don't know. I really don't know with their twin blades, but that was a, an experience. So I would say that the Chinook has always been my favourite. In fact, if you know aircraft, you know it's not really called a Chinook, it's called a Walker because of the sound that they make. And we live in an area where there's lots of airfields and I recognise that Walker sound before it's anywhere near in vision. So it has to be the Walker, I'm afraid. Uh, right, you're still... Uh, doing yeah, that. just so stencil let's... number four, just so you know, it's got a lot of glitter paste on the air, but it's still... We've got a lot of emails fine. here. Okay, uh, this <laughs> one's from Elaine, Elaine Hamilton, who says, Dear Martin and Tony, what a treat to tune in and see you both on screen together. I've been watching Crate and Craft since the outset, and I just love it. I've followed Tony since she joined the channel, and I love all the Stamps by Me products I've had. I particularly love the Eureka. I've got two, and since I had strokes six year ago, years ago, I can stamp successfully again. Thank you, Tony, for all your exciting products and careful tuition. I am definitely a better crafter thanks to you and your encouragement. Please keep doing what you are doing. May there be many more happy birthdays for Crate and Craft. You can give them to me now. Thank wow. you very much. Thank you so much. I'm going to take these and read them again. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, am I, I think, allowed to yeah. do that? I know they've got not people's details on, but they've got names, so which is... Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. that isn't that just beautiful? And I just did that in my own pleasure, listening to you reading out those lovely, lovely emails. Now, what I haven't actually done with this set is um, showing you that the gown does not have to be 3D'd, OK? So we can take our gown here and we can stamp her straight into the centre. So let's move this out of the way. You can keep reading if you want, Martin. All right. Angela Tunstall in Scotland. We've got five minutes left. She says, good afternoon, everyone. Happy birthday. I absolutely love stamps by me. I've been hooked since I bought my first product, which was the Eureka. Since then, I have bought loads more, although I keep saying no more. The Tony, <laughs> uh, then Tony brings out some other unique product that I just have to have. The only problem with this is my husband is no millionaire. Time to change him then. Um, <laughs> I think I will need to trade him in soon uh, to keep up my stamps by me habit. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> oh, thank you so much everyone it's been wonderful hasn't it so I'm just going to heat emboss I haven't heat embossed the dress now I don't think there's many shows that pass where I don't use something sparkly so let's sparkle this Sadie up so this is Sadie from the first collection with those wonderful bows uh, so Geraldine Lewis says hi Martin and Tony hi, I watched Geraldine. Tony on her very first Crate and Craft show Tony you looked so nervous but the enthusiasm you had enthusiasm you had for craft was wonderful and made me fall in love with craft all over again. Your consideration for everyone's purses is so important to you and your advice to check our stash instead of buying yours if you've got no pennies makes us all giddy kippers. Love you more. That is so true, giddy kipper. <laughs> um, 
P.S. Of course I have boxes of your wonderful stamps, dies and stencils and use them daily. The lamination stamping system was my wow moment. Thanks, Martin, Lamination, as well. Yeah. There you go. I've got a couple of long ones, so I'm just going to try and crack through them. If we didn't get yours read out, I do apologise, but we have read them all. We've had so many. Uh, crazy. OK, uh, this is Isabel in London, a name I recognise that we haven't heard from recently. Isabel says, I've been watching from the very beginning how things have only got better and better for us crafters. I have to say, Stamps by Me are one of my go-to companies. The inspiration and innovation is spectacular. I think I must have over 180 different Stamps uh, by Me products, and my stash just keeps growing and growing. Every time a new product is launched, I have to have it. Oh, thank Tony, you, so you are very much. clever and a special lady, and we as crafters cannot thank you enough for all the wonderful and in in innovative goodies you bring us, as well as seeing you sharing your talent on TV. My go-to products every time has to be the Eureka. I own three. Wow. Two of the first edition and one of the latest, So, uh, just so I don't have any excuses not to craft when I'm away from home. Also, the inks you've recommended are always of high quality, well-priced, and last a very long time. Isabel, in London. Thank you so much. It's so lovely to see it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to read them all. I'm yeah, you them need all to. Off. You need to. These, a couple of these have really got me. So, uh, Karen says, you, Oh, Karen in the Highlands, you just read my email out and you both, broke, both brought tears to my eyes for your kindness. I will definitely look at your groups, Tony. Thank you so much. There you go, Karen. Find your friends on there. Yes, come uh, Lynn in Bristol first started crafting 20 years ago. Uh, she had a cancer scare and Dawn Bibby inspired her and that was it, the start of an obsession. Brilliant. Work and life got in the way, I didn't have time for crafting two and a half years ago. I had an accident which damaged my back, although I'm still working full time, I can't do any of the hobbies used to, so I came across Crate and Craft. What an absolute delight you are. I've spent uh, an absolute fortune in this couple of years. I do feel like I know you all, if I saw you in the street I would respond as if I was greeting real friends. You are all so different, I've sent some cheeky emails to Adam. He's the naughty brother. Martin, you're the loveliest grumpy man ever. You all add so much to these programs. It's not just telly or selling. I adore Tony and her products. And finally, we didn't get a chance to read out Sadie Wingrove in Rushton, not too far away. And Amandi had emailed as well. Another one who found us during lockdown. Listen, I... Oh, thank you. So many emails. Tony's going to read them again. For those of you who just want to see the demoing, it's the birthday. Whoa. You have to indulge us because this is what Crate and Craft is all about. I hope you've enjoyed the show. You can buy afterwards. Don't forget to check the website. As for you, thank mwah, you. Mwah, thank you Thanks so for much. Looking after me, everyone. And thank, thank you, you so, much. so much for being a part of something which is so very important to all of us. I'll let you know what's coming up in the next couple of hours. 